There's new research on a treatment for depression that involves, or rather that revolves around an ingredient considered illegal for years. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez says the properties in magic mushrooms could have long-lasting benefits. M. Hanchek suffers from treatment-resistant depression. Even after years of therapy and medications, he still suffers symptoms. I was in a rut and, you know, no matter what I tried, um, things did not really improve beyond a, a certain point. Then in 2019, he joined a study at Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine, testing a psychedelic drug called psilocybin to treat depression. It's the same compound found in so-called magic mushrooms. One of the curious features about these drugs, and I would say it's this, the signature feature, is they produce experiences that have huge embedded personal meaning. Psilocybin's medical potential was studied in the 60s until concerns about abuse stopped research. Dr. Roland Griffiths helped restart experiments and found that just two doses of psilocybin in a controlled environment combined with therapy reduced or even eliminated depression for most patients for up to a year after treatment. You are able to, you know, access thoughts and feelings. Dr. Griffiths believes psilocybin could be an important alternative when antidepressants, which have to be taken every day, are not effective enough and have side effects. Many people um, end up uh, failing uh, or relapsing uh, with those compounds. Handcheck is still in therapy, but he no longer takes medications. The texture has kind of returned to the world, and that is just an incredible experience. Other institutions around the country, including NYU and Mount Sinai here in New York, are also testing psilocybin for depression, anxiety, and PTSD. The mushrooms may be called magic, but it's real science that's helping heal troubled minds. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.